Debo back, nigga. I'm on my Debo shit. Your boy finally made it to Denmark. Where am I? In the land of the brave. Am I in Algebag Park? I don't know. But we definitely in Denmark. We came out here a little early. And the Airbnb not ready. So guess what we do? Hit up my nigga Smoking Hagen. Smoking Hagen provided us with a location. Until the, uh, our Airbnb ready. You did. So me and my boy Jack back here. Smoking big dope. Oh, it is a bedroom provided just in case I want to go to sleep. I do have my own personal kitchen. We dig. It's just really beautiful over here. I actually don't have to leave. I could just crash here for the remainder of my stay. But why would I do that? Let me see. Y'all see the football in the back. You two can't get that. You dig. It's your boy, Bit Man Wap. Nigga. We gonna get it out. If I take the split, like the bitch, if I come at your wife and shit, I better make her suck the dick. So we finally on our way to our Airbnb. I ain't gonna lie. It's 4.47. We already about to be up. We already an hour late. But shout out my boy, Smokey Hagen. I crashed out of his crib. He was there since 9 in the morning. That's what I'm telling y'all. We back. Your boy is in Denmark. Oddly, but true. I'm about to um, I'm about to set up my Nintendo Switch. Get that up and running, cause we up in this creepy Airbnb. I am not gonna lie. Hold on, let me show y'all the bathroom setup. It's, it's actually disrespectful. I don't know what's going on with these Aunt Frank build outs, but I can understand how she got caught. You did. Um, I guess this is like the the area, the family area or some shit. Let me cut the lights on. I don't like even got a light in this bitch. That's what I'm saying. Shit ain't cut up. This shit is so creepy. But look at this bathroom, bro. Come on, man. Creepy. Like, bruh. What the fuck? So you gotta go under the chamber. Get in the chamber. And make the chamber work. The fuck? I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> this is the truth, I promise y'all. Um, This is like one of the best spots you can find out here. This shit is... Way more expensive than the spot I had in Barcelona. Like, what the fuck? Creepy, yeah. But we're gonna make the best of it. I swear to God, we is. We here for work anyway, so whatever. But in the meantime, in between time, I'm about to set up my Wii and my Switch. Get that shit jumping. Tax this stupid ass nigga on some bowling. You dig? And then probably go grab some steaks or something. When you're traveling, you got to make sure you have your Euro clip um, power plugs. You did grab you one of those, and you will be good. Get you some portable ashtrays. I got plenty. Get you some portable ashtrays. You just never know. You got to have portable ashtrays. You did. You just got to be prepared. You never know. Fronto leaf, Nintendo. I buy nothing but fresh cheese when I leave. Um, what else you need? These essentials, world. Speaker, just essentials. Candles. You know what I'm saying? Getting real money. So. <clears throat> oh shit. We about to go get some food, bro. I'm lost already. 
about to go hit these Copenhagen streets. You dig? Go see what's popping in the field. You dig? See what's really real. You dig? We up in the Hagen. Check it out. Shit's crazy. So the mission is, we're attempting to find some food. But the thing about these Europe streets, man, is these European streets shut down early, man. I ain't even charging my Apple Watch. Oh, look like some, some little vibes right here. We're gonna see what they got for us, world. Late night. Late night and I was thirsty. Cause it's a late night and I'm thirsty. Nights in the Hagen. Um, those restaurants was closed. Hold up. I'm smoking on this. I got this Hidden Hill shit with me right now. And shout out to my good folks at Hidden Hill. We doored it up. Beautiful setting, man. We really looking for some food. It's looking like this is the only spot that's open. So we might eat there. I don't know yet, man. We're trying to figure it out, you dig? So, sorry, we're choosing between two restaurants. Let's go to the one people look like they actually eating at. That one look like that's where Sherlock Holmes kick it at. And try to solve the mysteries and shit. Or we could do some shit more aesthetically pleasing. A vibe. And there goes 7-Eleven too, though. So we got good action. So we're going to grab some good food. Hopefully this shit ain't trash. Right, where are you from? Uh, Los Angeles. Oh, Americans. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. That's cool. That's my first Americans. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. We're the first my Americans, my boy, yeah. right here. I we started about to Friday. do it up. You started Friday? No, I'm just kidding. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> really trying to figure it out, man. There's so many, so many varieties of drinks. I'm trying to see, should I get the, the French Ruby? Or a blood more margarita. It's hard to decide because I don't want to be disrespectful to King because his mama named Ruby. So I'm not going to even do that out of respect to my brother. So I'm going to just run with this uh, margarita, man. No homo. Shout out to King and Ruby. Let's get to that. <laughs> hey. Some tools. Some cider. Thank you. Yes. You want some bread with this? Yes, uh, yes please. <laughs> We're being honest. This ribeye look like hereby. We're going to see what it's talking about. Breaking news. You see that right there? I just heard. I literally just heard that they said this particular cow got his ass massaged every day until they made him. That shit is so tender. And they said it's all off of an ass massage. Strictly ass massage on that cow. I promise you. My boy just told me this. I don't know if that's how they're doing it in Denmark, but look, look how, look at that shit. Tender. Pianos in the chat. <laughs> hey, yo, world. I don't know if y'all ever tried a baklava before or anything near, near like it or close to it. In all my years, I never once seen a baklava. Dipping sour cream. I don't know what the fuck going on. But these niggas is trying to experiment and play games and disrespect me. But they got me fucked up with the creamy 
Baklava. I'm gonna see what it's talking about though, because I might not be cultured enough. But this is y'all uh, about the witness Macwa trying to be cultured. Thank you. Here we go. Bro. Look at it. That's just stupid. I ain't even sour cream, excuse me. That's some shit that's what we call expensive. Remember you got ice cream there? Oh yeah. Mm. <laughs> so we leaving 7-Eleven, nigga. Like we in the ghetto. You know what it is. I know what it is. I got a video uploading. No. Getting exported. You dig? Knock one down, man. We got one in the can. You feel me? I'm about to play some golfing, though. Honestly. For all my people that be trying to travel, whatever the case, and, you know. Hold on. So, all my people that be traveling and want to get in the mix and know what to bring on the road, whatever the case, you gotta bring a Nintendo Switch, man. This shit is clutch. And when you bring a Nintendo Switch, or if you have a Nintendo Switch, to say the least, this is what I'm gonna need y'all to do. Y'all gotta get Mario Sports or some shit like that. Get the sport game, Mario Kart, anything Mario related, you good money, bruh. I'm not gonna cap. Video will be done soon. I'm gonna hit the field today. I got a partner out here. I'm probably gonna hit the city with. And this nigga telling me, Macwap, the owner of this club said come through and do a look for us, yeah? So I just might do that too, you feel me? Ain't no telling, man, sky's the limit. Day two, Copenhagen, Denmark. Shout out my boy, Cutter. So I guess I'm starting my day off. It's a beautiful day up in Copenhagen. Look at it. It's a nice day, man. Me and my boy Jack about to go hit this field. This is your first time out here. This is first time out here. But we're gonna make the best of it. We ate there last night. They gave us some, it was a good steak. I ain't gonna even complain. I ain't gonna even, I ain't gonna even act like I didn't even enjoy my meal last night, cause I did. So, shout out to that spot. It's close to my Airbnb. Worst case scenario, if I don't find anything that's good eating, I'm going to be back there, and hopefully my wind reduction work. Either way, I love you niggas. Thank you. The tour guide over there, she just told me this, and if she's wrong, we'll get that bitch fired too. Free Mona Lisa. <laughs> Word up. Free Mona Lisa, man. She ain't deserve that shit. She used to live up there. My nigga, they didn't give her. They was giving her water and fucking bread. The hard ass bread, though. <laughs> Not even waffles. She just was eating water and bread. The, the, the thick ass bread. Ciabatta. <laughs> I just found out something. Y'all see these old niggas back there? From here on out, me and my folks, we about to be knocking out old niggas. Because I heard y'all fucked with the Nazis. If y'all start seeing old niggas knocked out on the news, I did it. Go, you fucking wanker. They living their best life. Let me see if he a fuck nigga. Ah, oh, he pussy. Oh! Hey, yo. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Somehow, we just stumbled up on the most youthful spot right now. It's cracking all the people out. It's probably because the sun is never out out here. And everybody's trying to come take advantage of this shit. But it's beautiful out right now. I swear to God, I've never seen... Denmark looked like this before. I ain't gonna cap, I ain't even know it could look like this before. 
It was the spot we used to go to out here called Christiania. I believe it's not the same as it used to be. Even if it was the same as it used to be, I wouldn't be able to go there anyway because it's like its own world. It operates by its own rules. So cameras are forbidden. I'm not gonna lie, I can't make this up. The time I went there before, I brought, my, I put my camera out. I had put my camera out and they acted like they was about to kidnap a nigga or something like I did the most horrible thing. Which is understandable now that I understand a program that's being ran there. You feel me? They got their own laws, own rules. So, me taking y'all there is a slim chance that that'll ever happen. I'm not gonna lie, it's a slim chance, man. You feel me? So, in the meantime, in between time, since we might not go see Christiania, you motherfuckers enjoy this shit, man. You dig? Y'all enjoy this, hold on. Maybe this is the thumbnail for you niggas too. Dude. Hey yo. So this space is actually pretty weird. So you got kids over there at the park having fun. I swear to God. And behind me, there's motherfuckers over there with their titties out. I don't understand how they could do that when there's kids to the to this side and it's motherfuckers with their literal titties out on that side. I don't see how that makes sense. If this was America. Motherfuckers would be in jail right now, and I think they should lock that bitch up. Even though, even though it's okay, free the nips, all that. But it was kids over there. I can't even show y'all that shit, but what you want me to do? I don't know. What do you want me to do? It's cracking, man. Like I said, the sun's out, and the buns is definitely out. Not going to lie. I'd be mad if I was niggas too. Now that I'm doing enough, now that I'm reading the fucking room, I'd be mad if I was niggas too. I'm out here doing the look. This is from from here on out. This is gonna be lifestyles of the carry on boy. <laughs> this is what we doing. This is the new lifestyles of the carry on boy. As we stand in Denmark. On some carry on shit, man. This is what it looks like. Hey, yo, world, tell Flacco this is what it looks like, man. I, I love Flacco too, though. It's no quarrels with this nigga, but this is what it looks like. You can't make this up. You can't make this up. And I'm not here for music. That's what I love about this carry on boy shit, man. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing, man. I really appreciate it. Love your people, man. Fuck with your people. Look at when you could do this. When niggas is kicking their feet, you know they happy. When you able to kick your feet, nigga, you ain't got nothing to worry about. It's better living. This is better living shit. Kick your feet, nigga. I should fuck around and rent a boat on one of you niggas. <laughs> I should go get a boat on one of you stupid ass niggas. Cause at this point, I don't know. Cut the us on the boat. <laughs> I'm, t I'm tired of being nice to you diggers, but here go the thing about being nice. I'm genuinely a nice person, but I'm tired of being nice to you niggas. Because I don't think niggas appreciate a nice person, so hold up, let me get my tour, tour. So if niggas don't appreciate a nigga being nice, I'ma just be nicer. Fuck it. Fuck it. I don't even know if I want to come home yet. Might go back to Barcelona for a bit to be more nice. Let's get to that. Hey yo. Uh, I don't know where this this GPS is taking me on my map, but I don't know who house this is, but that bitch important. Nigga, they got so many feds over there. I got all this dope on me. Oh my God, what the fuck is going on? They everywhere. Pray for me in the chat. If you did, because this is going to be a premiere. And during this premiere, at this moment of the premiere, right, I need y'all to let me know should I start dropping my videos 
as a premiere. I don't know. Bro, what the fuck going on? It's cracking. Oh, look at those. What the fuck? It's over. Oh, this that 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 fucking building. So, bro, I don't know where I'm at right now, but it seemed like it's important. This shit seem important. It's blocked off. I don't even know if I should be walking by that. Is that is that one of them ticky ticky things? <laughs> they got a police right there. One right there. They all over the place. What the fuck? That's what I'm saying. You put a sticker on there? Yeah. Oh, I was about to say, what if the police would get him? He's with them. <laughs> but uh. Whatever this building is, hey yo, y'all in my chat, let me know if y'all know what this is right here. I don't know. They seem important because it's heavily guarded. Let's get to that. Look at them niggas. Look at that. Their cutter is here. That it means they know who we're with. What the fuck? It's hot. It's hot. Look at them niggas. You know they going to the weed event tomorrow. <laughs> so yeah, man. I'm paranoid. I'm really paranoid. Hold on, let me get my thumbnail real quick. No, I can just do off the video. This is uh, 8K. Da! So it's Monday, bro. Uh, not Monday, it's Friday actually. We're finally heading to my boy Copenhagen event, Smoking Hagen, Cutter, the real G, the real top boy. Um, we about to see what it's looking like. <sighs> Popping out a taxi, man. Luxury, too. We just pulled up. Cutter, where you at? Big boys is here. You feel me? Look how creepy this shit look. Creepy. So let me tell y'all what to expect or what I'm expecting to expect. There's gonna be a lot of uh, smokers in here. You feel me? My plan is this. My plan is to go in here, meet the people, see who is who. You dig? And just see what the weed scene looking like out here in Copenhagen. Dig. My boy trying to make sure everything get legalized out here. And we trying to be ahead of the game. You dig? So we touching the fucking cement first. Let's get to that. Shouts out to the shouts out. Smash the like button. All that. Please sub to this page. Help your boy out. Golly. You starting to think I don't fuck with your boy. We just got here, man. My brother Cutter. You dig? Right, man. We just got here. The event just opened up. Crack off until about an hour or two. Um, we're gonna see what it's looking like, bro. We're gonna see what's going on. See who's here. It's my first time here. This is the first event like this ever in Denmark. We here, bro. Legalize. <laughs> Debo back, nigga. I'm on my Debo shit. Looking for all the smoke right now on my Debo shit right now. Hey, I wanna see some crazy shit. So, this route I'm taking right now is actually on the map. Like, this is literally a road. Weird as shit. Look, I took this road yesterday, thought I was tripping, but in the words of my good brother, K called. What's his name? Grin Osorin Kekar. Shout out, bro. Kekar. This nigga Jack, I'm following a nigga that don't know shit about this area. Tired of this nigga. Taking me these long routes. Uh. I'm talking shit, too. <laughs> This janky ass nigga. 
Fuck it. We on the bike. Oh shit. Oh shit. This wobbly motherfucker. Anyway, Big Mac Wap. What the fuck is that? Creepy. Hey, let me get the fuck out of here. All right. Let me get out of here. Y'all make sure y'all smash the like button. All that good shit. I don't even think I'm supposed to be riding the bike right here. At this point, who gives a fuck? It's like, I'm obviously a tourist, nigga. Get off my dick. And I'm on one of these bullshit gravel roads. Really built by hand, too. Fire. Hey, yo. I just dropped the, uh, the bikes off at the hotel. We hopping in this Benzo taxi, motherfucker. To the, uh, locomotive? Yep. Real life player shit going on. Niggas got a whole trap house, bruh. So look, your boy Big Wop, I'm over here at the Backpack Boys booth, Billy Kimber, Garrison Lane. Real life shit. Niggas packed into a whole trap house. You feel me? Niggas over here smoking good dope. What's up? We'll put on some dance.